Okay, hi guys and welcome to today's show. Today we are going to be discussing one of the biggest enemies of your mechanical and automatic timepiece and that is of course magnetism. So let's roll the credits. The credits, it's not even over yet. So let's roll the intro and get on with the show. guys and welcome to today's show today a very quick video unfortunately I've got a huge deadline uh, work related deadline this week but hopefully in a few weeks uh, it will all be over and I'll be able to uh, do more videos but I thought I'd do a very quick video now I've got to give credit where credit is due here uh, the concept and idea and uh, everything basically came from Grobnob the right dishonorable <laughs> grob knob when he's not causing mayhem offending people and trolling as a troll does uh, he is actually very very knowledgeable about watches and he actually helped me out with this I had a problem uh, with my little Tudor and I should do wristwatch check I am wearing the data bank I've put it of course of course I've put it on a NATO strap I, I <laughs> had to do it it's actually proved quite useful little watch and my little Tudor day date now I know I I know I've also put it on a NATO strap. Um, is a day date on a NATO strap? Is that a faux pas? Who knows? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm actually enjoying it. I, I, you know, guys, I'm eccentric. I don't care what people think. I wear two watches after all. So, you know, it really, you know, rules to me do not uh, mean anything. But anyway, uh, back to the subject. My little Tudor was starting to run quite fast. It had been impeccable ever since I bought it, but recently. I had noticed it was running incredibly fast, a bit too fast for my liking. I was starting to think, oh no, what am I going to do? Should I take it to get fixed? I really didn't want to do that. You know, it's, it's a pain, it costs money, all the rest of it. However, I discovered that it was magnetized. Magnetism is a wristwatch's worst nightmare. And I'm talking specifically about mechanical and automatic pieces. As you know, these watches have all these tiny little uh, moving parts, some, some of them uh, remarkably small and when they become magnetized it can really throw them out of whack so what are the causes of magnetism well it could have been a whole number of things primarily and most commonly it is your phone your actual iPhone your cell phone uh, when the the when you put it on vibrate and the little motor that makes it vibrate uh, spins round and actually creates magnetic fields and if you've got a watch nearby uh, like probably not this close but if you lay a watch on it while when it vibrates it can actually magnetize your watch and it could be a complete nightmare the same could be said about iPads uh, what else have I got written here x-ray machines when traveling those can be a nightmare as well especially if you're like me I, I don't work in stu recording studios so much anymore a lot of it is freelance I work from home nowadays but back in the day when I used to work in professional recording studios, all that equipment, especially speakers with magnets in them, all the rest of it, that can really mess up uh, your, your watch. And the same can be said about pilots. Anything that has a lot of uh, electronical... Uh, electronical... <laughs> what am I saying? I'm waking up words. Anything that has electronic equipment in you know huge amounts nearby in a recording studio obviously to have the mixing desk your hand would be over the mi mixing desk uh, all that kind of stuff they can all have magnetic fields so there are three solutions to this right there are three solutions to this either one you buy a watch with a faraday cage uh, or anti-magnetic properties some kind of protection built into the uh, the movement that kind of thing but of course, this is expensive. We can't all go out there and buy Nilgauses or um, what's the other one? Uh, a lot of I IWC, obviously for pilots' watches, that kind of thing. We can't all go out and buy these expensive watches. The second thing is you take it to a professional to be fixed. They will have a demagnetizer and they will obviously fix the problem for you. And the third option is you buy a demagnetizer yourself. Now, to determine whether your watch is magnetized or there's actually something else wrong with it it's very very simple all you will need one of these and this is a little compass 
any compass will do. So, two things you need, very, very cheap, little compass and a demagnetizer. I got this one on eBay for about seven bucks. Now in a moment, we'll switch perspectives so I can show you how to tell using a compass, it's very, very simple, if your watch is magnetized. In fact, actually, let's do that right now. Now the best way is to simply get a little compass like this. Uh, this particular one well, is one that you fit on a strap, but any compass will do. And you just basically hold the compass. Now it is moving slightly because it's figuring out where north is. Unfortunately for this demonstration, none of these watches are magnetized. There's just very normal movement um, in the compass. But if it was, if any of these were magnetized, I'll show you what would happen. Now I'm going to demonstrate with the speaker here because obviously there are magnets in that actually drive the speaker and there are magnetic fields so if I move the compass near you'll start seeing it move like that now if your watch was magnetized there would be similar reaction on the compass so there's quite a strong little magnetic field there now obviously it's not it doesn't affect it the magnetic field doesn't come out protrude outwards that far so it's only until you get really close to the magnets. I think the magnet's somewhere in there. So do you see that? This is what it will go crazy like that. So again, if I demonstrate on the watches, none of these watches are displaying any kind of magnetic field like that. So none of these, <laughs> none of these are magnetized. Is that moving a little bit? No. Um, so these are all fine. Okay, let's take it back to the other view. So before we start using this, there is something very very important to do. Make sure your automatic timepiece has stopped. Leave it on the bedside table or on the table, wherever you, you keep your watches for a day and make sure it is absolutely not working whatsoever. And then you get this bad boy out and you do the following. Now have a closer look. Okay, and here we are guys having a look at my little demagnetizer. Now I bought this one very cheaply off eBay. It was about $7. They really don't cost that much. So it just plugs in normal AC. Uh, it works very, very simply. So let's suppose this particular watch was magnetized. As I demonstrated earlier, the compass is going crazy. Now you just hold this over the demagnetizer. You hold the little button down for 10 seconds. You'll feel a, a little buzzing and you count to 10. And once 10 seconds has passed, you simply very slowly lift the watch away from the demagnetizer and let go. Then you simply pass the compass over the watch like such and you will see that the compass is remaining steady and true to north. Really is as simple as that. Not very expensive. Uh, I totally recommend getting one. An absolute must if you're a serious watch collector and very cheap and easy to do. And you will find that the watch, if it was behaving, you know, going a bit too fast or whatever, just check over the next few days and you will see it will be behaving back to normal. Okay, back to the studio. Okay, welcome back. So now you've demagnetized the watch. The, the little compass is not showing any ridiculously strong magnetic fields coming from the watch, that's when you fire her back up and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be working. Now, in terms of my little Tudor, to my utter amazement, it's working just as it was when I bought it. We're back to, you know, within normal, a uh, couple of seconds, plus or minus a day, like normal. Absolutely astounding. I spent, I think uh, the compass was, I already had this, but this compass was uh, about, five bucks and then this was seven bucks so 12 bucks and I sorted it out for myself and I can't recommend it enough obviously sometimes it's not gonna fix all your problems but if your watch is magnetized there's no need to spend a lot of money getting it fixed it really is a fantastic little kind of watch hack we won't say life hack we'll say watch hack for us another another term for the uh, urban gentry glossary there my little Tudor is Bang on now. Gotta say a big thank you to Grobnov for, for bringing this to my attention. Anyway guys, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet today. Uh, I've, I'm very, very busy. I've got to uh, dash off, get, take care of some business. Thoughts, opinions, queries, questions, uh, all the rest of it down in the comments below. Please don't forget to give this a like if you enjoyed it, found it useful. Uh, it really does help. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one. Okay guys, ciao. That light is so bright, I'm now blind.
Ugh. Okay, got. Uh, blah. 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 Okay, hi guys, and welcome to today's show. Today, we are going to be discussing the biggest nightmare and enemy of McKenna. I'm starting to sound like Boris, all kind of. Uh, <laughs> Boris Johnson. I need to. I need to tone it down a bit. Um, okay, hi guys, and hi guys. Why am I doing this with my hands? I don't know. I'm sorry. I talk with my hands. I'm Italian. I can't. I can't help it. <laughs> Completely. Okay. Too many espressos. No. Okay. Okay. Hi guys. Okay. Okay. Why do I do that? Okay. Hi guys. Yeah. Ooh. Hello, chaps. Today we're going to be talking about the evils of magnetism. It's frightfully ghastly stuff. Don't want none of that. Awful. Absolutely ghastly. None of that ghastly magnetism. Magnetism! Magnetism, I say! Don't want any of that magnetism near your watches. They absolutely ruin your watch. Front fit awfully rich people don't have to worry about these things. Magnetism! 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 Magnetic fields. Magnetic. Okay, Jazz. Welcome to today's show, and today we will be <laughs> Hugo here. Hugo Montgomery, Montgomery, Charlie Watford. <laughs> There's a fly in here. Somebody, somebody kill the fly, please. Can you kill that fly? Don't, don't use the shotgun, use the... <laughs> okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. Today, we are going to be discussing one of the biggest enemies of your mechanical or automatic timepiece, and that is, of course, magnetism. Magnetism. Ghastly magnetism. Is your watch not behaving accurately? Perhaps it's magnetized. 